Ellie, a good result against Durham in the last game. What were your thoughts? Yeah, it was a really good good result, really good performance. I thought the girls were fantastic, um, executed the game plan really well. And to get a, a first win on our first home game of the season was really positive as well. Like We were buzzing off the back of it. Obviously, a lot of fans got down to the game at Bramall Lane. 869, how important was that? Yeah, it's massively important. That's one of the key things for us being at Bramall Lane now is hopefully we can get a lot of home fans at the games and to see them turn out in their numbers is, is really great and we can feel that support when we're playing. You have obviously just come back from an injury on the bench last week. Do you think it, we'll see you on the pitch this weekend? I don't know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> depending on which team you know, Gaffer puts out, but I'm, I feel good, Like I feel ready to play. Um, put some work in, obviously, just get myself back. So. For me, I just want to get out on the pitch as soon as possible, whenever that is. Obviously, Sunderland away this weekend. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, another tough game. Like I think all the games in this league and this division are tough. Obviously, it's away as well, so there's that to factor in. But ultimately, we want to go there and get three points. They haven't had too much of a bad start. So, and you know, similar to us, we've had one win and a loss. So, we we want to go there and, and carry the momentum from the Durham game as best we can and, and try and get three points. How key is it to, to get that away win quite early on in the season? Yeah, I think it's important. Um, like I just said, I think getting the points on the board is the priority. So whether it's home or away, you know, we go into every game trying to trying to get the results that we need. So in that respect, it's no different. But having you know our first away game was a loss to Blackburn. We want to put that right in terms of our away form. Obviously, there's been a couple of weeks where you've had time to like regroup and stuff like that. What kind of a performance can we expect at Sunderland on Sunday? I think probably um, attacking performance, and you know we, we kind of think it's going to be a bit of a scrap. Like the physicality of the game is going to be, it's going to be high, and and we had that with Durham as well. So in that regard, it's not too much different. But we want to go there, try and get the ball down, play our game. Um, hopefully, you know, execute in areas that we know we're strong, and and then convert. You know, good chances into goals as we have done um, at Durham because that was the key thing going on from the Blackburn game that you know we felt we didn't do. So we want to try and keep that keep that going. What have preparations been like in training? Yeah, it's been good. Um, positive, high energy in the group. Obviously, we've had a few away with international, so it's nice to have them back back now to continue the preparation. So yeah, we're already in rare and to go. Like we've had a little bit of a breather, obviously with a week with no game. So we just want to get back into it as soon as. Obviously, being part time, having you know, these games that are quite long because there's not, you know, too many clubs in the league. Does it cause a bit of difficulty, you know, making sure that you can keep on top every single time you play in? Yeah, I think having the gaps sometimes is, is a good thing, depending on the point in the season, because you get, like I say, a little bit of a breather. But in the same, same way, like, if you've just come off the back of a win, you want to carry that into the next game as soon as possible. So... You know, hopefully we can still do that and it gives us a little bit of time to regroup, sharpen up on things that you know we, we may have not done quite so well in the Blackburn game, things that we still want to improve from the Durham game um, and just it's a chance as a group to just have some more time on the pitch and, and put things um, together better, if you like. Well, I could just mention, obviously, you are part-time, something that we've kind of been speaking about a lot, but the significance of it is huge, the fact that, you know, you are playing at Bramall Lane, but you are a part-time team. You are playing Sunderland, which, you know, are also part-time. Do you think that helps give a little bit of balance to the game? Um, in some respects, yeah, I suppose if you look at it like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we kind of just worry about ourselves and we want to drive our own standards. And even though we are part time, we know there are some like negative impacts of that. But we've competed well previously. Um, we still have high expectations of ourselves. So we go into that game and, and don't really think about whether they're full time, part time. Um, try not to let that phase us because, like I say, we want to go and, and and give our best performance and I know that we're capable of going there and getting three points so regardless of what we are off the pitch, uh, on the pitch, you know, we're capable of, of getting um, results. Obviously we worked a lot together over the Euros and, and we kind of just just spoke about playing at Bramall Lane and you'd gone to a few games and you said that it was quite emotional knowing that you were going to be playing there and we, and we spoke last week and you said walking out of that tunnel is going to be emotional when, you know, obviously when you do. Do, has it set in yet that you are playing at Bramall Lane? It's just one of the ongoing things. Like it's just really nice that we're there. Um, it's something that we've we've wanted for a long time. And I mentioned, I think, in a, a previous interview that it, it's just the home of Sheffield United. So it's nice that we're all 
all combined in that sense and, and to have the home fans there that's that's where the home fans are going to want to be rather than you know another ground so it's nice from their point of view it's nice for us as players and and yeah when when the Euros games are on it's nice to think that that's the direction the game is going and hopefully you know more and more people will want to come and watch our games as well so it's nice to see what it could get to if you like. Do you feel at home? Oh yeah massively yeah it's just right around the corner isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like knowing you know on a, on a Friday night when, or you know Saturday night sometimes knowing that you're going to be there the day after do you does that really like get you going ahead of the game you know just thinking we're going to be there tomorrow. There's going to be fans a lot more than perhaps in previous years after the Euros. A lot of new people getting down. Does that mm -hmm. just give you a real buzz? Yeah, I think it's nice. Like you know, it's on our doorstep. It's where we want to be. Um, home of United, as I mentioned. But any home game, there's obviously advantages associated with that, and the fact that it just feels even more um, like our home now. It just strengthens that kind of relationship and potentially like benefit of us having having home advantage. You know, we want the home fans to feel at home as well. Um, the more of them we can get to games, the more support we'll feel as well. Like we can feel it when they're in the stands, and it's just a comfortable place to be. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage and, and make it a really difficult place for teams to come. Now, I spoke to Lara this morning at, uh, when I was on Radio Sheffield, and she kind of spoke about. Um, I think you've sold 500 season tickets. How different is this from you know a couple of years ago, where you like you said you've been playing at different grounds and getting to Chesterfield on a, on a Tuesday night and you know young children coming out how nice is it to have them on Sunday at the lane where you, families can come down together yeah it's, it's really nice um, you know for the fans as well it's local and they don't have to sort of trek as far if you like to come and watch us um, I know some of the games are streamed as well but then not all of them so it's nice that there's more opportunity for people to come and watch and it be close and it's more accessible so from a family point of view, it's good, um, and you know, for us, like I say, we're just around the corner. So, hopefully, it's just going to encourage numbers to increase. For you personally, what is it that's going to encourage fans to come down this season? Probably results. <laughs> Obviously, you know, if your if your team's doing well, it's more exciting to watch. All the games in the league, I think, will be competitive. So, despite people be, you know, teams being part time or full time, I think there is real competition across all the all the games and. You couldn't really pick out a winner necessarily in any of them. So from a fan's perspective, that probably makes it quite an exciting watch. Um, but yeah, ultimately we want to get three points and if we're winning week in, week out, it's more enjoyable for us, more enjoyable for supporters and you want to see a team doing well. So hopefully if we can put performances in, that'll help.